When I started taking YouTube seriously at the beginning of 2020, I was critical of Graham Stephan, who's on YouTube. This guy is some 20 year old millennial millionaire, real estate investor, teaching a bunch of other people using Robinhood how to get rich. Come on. But the more I learned about him, the more I respected his mastery of YouTube and business. So in this video, I'm gonna be breaking down Graham Stephan's YouTube strategy so you can use his own tactics to blow up your own YouTube channel. How did Graham Stephan blow up? So number one, he 10 X's the series that worked for him. So we actually did an analytical breakdown of every video uploaded since the beginning of his channel. And in the past 64 videos from July to November, only 12 of those videos were not part of a proven series. So the proven series are guaranteed videos that you know have already been popular on your channel that you can do again and again. So here's the actual breakdown of his proven series so that you can think about it for yourself. Reaction to the stock market, 17 times he's done that. Financial listicles, eight times. Other reaction videos, seven. It's straight off the bat as you guys are doing different videos for your own channel or in any type of business, find the thing that works and keep doing more of it. So here's some of the specific titles from these videos. My thoughts on the 2021 stock market crash. Stock market reaches all time high. My thoughts on the stock market collapse. The best five index funds that will make you rich. 10 quick life hacks to save money ASAP. Seven best side hustles that makes $100 per day. Everything wrong with the new X1 credit card. Revealing the insane perks. You guys get the drift. He does proven series over and over again. Next up, he engineers titles to reach a wider audience. So the one advice you get when you start a YouTube channel is to pick a niche. For our channel, our niche is how to start a small business. For Graham, his channel's niche is personal finance. So picking a niche, you, we've all heard it before, I'm sure you're annoyed of hearing it, but your niche is only so big. And as your channel and audience grows, you need to outgrow that niche. Tim Ferriss started with four hour work week, then he went to body, then he went to chef. So think about that, how can you appeal to a wider audience? So here is actually a quote from Graham. If I titled a video, index fund investing step-by-step -step tutorial, sure, I'd reach exactly who my target audience is, but I'd miss out on the 98% of people who have never clicked on the video because they don't care about index fund investing. They just care that one day they want to be rich. This guy's got some good stuff. So instead, if I titled the video, how to be a millionaire starting with zero dollars, all of a sudden everyone clicks because that's what most people want. They hopefully get interested in personal finance once they realize that the actual steps to get there are rather simple. And now that they can have the same enthusiasm, da da da, you guys get what I'm saying. So what Graham is doing that's really interesting and a lot of it is like, ah, oh, that sounds clickbaity. That's it's one, have a title that actually brings people in and then deliver on the goods. One of the key things that we've identified with our own YouTube channel is that the metric that matters the most is CTR. That is your click-through rate. So it's the topic you choose, the title you have, and the thumbnail that you show on it. Let's look at the ways that Graham is exposing himself to a larger audience with his packaging. So on this thumbnail, the Fed just bailed out the stock market again. And so in Ted is titling this video, the monetary policy reported summary by Jerome Powell, he titled it the new Fed bailout. Think about this, yes, the title is extreme, but he talks about what's the takeaway. And I think this is like what you hear about in Marketing 101. You don't sell the features, you sell the benefits, you sell the results, and he's doing that with his thumbnail. This is talking about investing. Instead of saying, do not gamble with stocks in Robinhood, his title is, the stock market is easy money, do this now. And so again, this is one, it's more appealing and it expands the audience of people that wanna learn about this topic or what he has to say. So number three, you've heard me talk about a lot, is consistency. He started in January of 2017, so in, Four years, he has built a multi-million dollar business on YouTube just by uploading a few videos a month. So we're gonna check out the first video that he uploaded in January, 2017. What's up YouTube, it's Graham here. I'm gonna make a video today. Wow, he's kind of been like, it's not douchey. I guess it's douchey is what we call douchey. I don't know. But he's been kind of had the same style since back in the day. Like he's, you know, polished together. He's in some nice house. You can see that the videos weren't as produced as they are now. And he's found kind of the formula, which is what we're talking about in this whole video. The video's not bad, but you can see the camera quality, not phenomenal, but he did just get it started. That's one of the most important things for you. So you can see that a lot of it in any of your businesses, if it's on YouTube, if it's a product, if it's e-commerce, whatever it is, you get started. It's gonna look like crap when you look back on it, but that's how businesses go. You get started and you keep evolving and improving. Looking at, at his upload schedule, so between that first one that we just saw, which I don't think actually got a lot of traction, from February of 2017 to about August, he was doing around two videos a week. Then what we noticed is from September of 2017, he moved it from to three to four videos every single week and he has not missed a week in three years. And at the time of this recording, Graham has 561 uploaded videos over two and a half million subscribers and over 200 million views on YouTube. 
Consistency wins. On this channel, by the way, I like to build a deeper relationship, that's so cheesy, with you guys by doing live office hours every single Friday. Come hang out with me, ask any of your questions. I've started multiple seven and eight figure companies. I worked at Facebook. I love to help you on your own business journey. So make sure you hit subscribe and notification bell so you can find out when we do our next office hours. This is a really surprising thing that not a lot of people talk about. Number four, he started a secondary channel for experimental videos and B-level videos. So his about page description on his secondary channel is, let's talk about more money, business, and financial related topics without worrying about the YouTube algorithm. This channel is meant to be a place where I can upload other random things. So that is something that we've actually found out in our own channel, where when we upload podcasts, when we upload Noah's kind of like crazy idea videos, it actually hurts the amount of subscribers we get. And so we've actually started focusing on videos like this because this is what you guys seem to enjoy. And I like that he actually gets an experimental channel and works on that to find out, all right, maybe there's some popular stuff here. He can move to the main channel. So let's actually check out the secondary channel and see what we can learn from it. So he started the secondary channel around March of 2019. So he has one fifth the amount of subscribers and one fourth the amount of views. I actually like this strategy from here because it allows you to experiment with new content, see if anything's popular that you can put in your main channel and also just do it without any pressure. I think this is a great thing to do with any business. Have your main business and have your experimental or hobby thing that if anything works, you can put it in your main thing. It also allows you to keep your stats on your main channel high because you're posting all of your B or C or experimental content on your second channel. It's also a nice secondary income stream by having a lot of views on this channel. Well, that is a wrap. If you have a YouTube channel, I hope you took away some lessons to implement on your own channel. And if you don't have one, I hope this inspired you to start your own today. If you like this video, I also broke down the strategy Mr. Beast uses to go viral every single week. The guy is so damn good. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell thing, uh, to get notified when I do my weekly live office hours, as well as when I'm giving away free stuff. I just gave away my Tesla last month. We give away some crazy stuff coming up. I'll see you out there. And I love you. Pew, pew.